How would Moscow react if terrorist death squads wiped out entire neighborhoods in Moscow? How would Beijing respond to if genocidal jihadists beheaded and murdered your babies? The, council's, the council isn't taking even the most basic steps that anyone with a slight moral compass should take. This is precisely how the state of Israel feels right now. To those who voted against this resolution, I must say that your decision shocks me to my core. If any of your countries endured a similar massacre, I am certain, certain that you would act with much greater force than Israel. I would like to begin by deeply deeply thanking the United States and every other member of this council that supported this resolution. Voting for a resolution that clearly condemns savage genocidal terrorists while standing up for member states' right to defend itself against terror shows that despite all of the libelous falsehoods spread in the UN's halls, there are still those who stand up for the values of freedom and security. I thank you for your moral clarity in such dark times. To those who voted against this resolution, I must say that your decision shocks me to my core. In Israel, we are fighting for our very survival. My elderly parents living in Ashkelon have spent the last 20 days running back and forth to their bomb shelters as rockets rain down on them, deliberately on them, on civilians. And you cannot condemn even these deliberate attacks on civilians perpetrated by terror organizations? If any of your countries endured a similar massacre, I am certain, certain that you would act with much greater force than Israel, much greater force. There would be no question in your minds that such a barbaric slaughter requires a broad military operation against the terrorists who committed such inhumane atrocities to eradicate their terrorist capabilities in order to make sure that such atrocities can never happen again. How would Moscow react if terrorist death squads wiped out entire neighborhoods in Moscow? How would Beijing respond to if genocidal jihadists beheaded and murdered your babies? I will give you a moment to reflect on that thought. But I believe every person, not only here in this room, across the globe, whoever is watching this discussion, knows exactly how you would respond. So we don't need a moment to reflect. Should the Security Council not condemn the terrorists and their crimes against your innocent civilians, each of you would be just as shaken as I am. You would feel that there is a blatant double standard and that the international community is blind to your agony and that the, council's, the Council isn't taking even the most basic steps that anyone with a slight moral compass should take. This is precisely how the state of Israel feels right now. Those who have voted against the US-led resolution have shown the world that this council is incapable of doing the most basic task of condemning ISIS-like terrorists and cannot confirm the right to self-defense of the victim of these heinous crimes.